Okay, I'm going to be checking out a game called I Dwell in Possibility this morning. I have coffee and chocolate. Let's just dive in.
I live in the night. You or you may have no school girl of indeterminate age, and today is the day your school's comic club has its annual retreat. The bus leaves in 15 minutes, so you'd better get ready. Probably a little loud, let me turn it down just a bit. I hope that's not too quiet. My room, I don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> she did, I can run. <laughs> Well, the ba the bath on the bathroom equipped with unusual with the usual necessities. The toilet is tucked behind the wall there somewhere and is therefore not visible from the diegetic perspective. But it is most assuredly there, I promise. Is my dad? What's up, dad? No, it's mom. Oh, good morning, Amy. You'd better get ready if you don't want to be late. Sharp X 68000 is plugged into the television set. Dragon Knight 4 is in the disk drive. Bus, there's a lot more absences than I expected. I heard that the retreat was really popular last year, though this is certainly quite unusual. I knew most of the students, some better than others, so to pass the time until we arrived, I decided to chat with some of them. What a cool bus driver. He's quiet. Pleasant well, morning to you too, Sarah. Buckworm?
We arrived at the manor late in the afternoon. While the brick and wood building that would become our home for the week was undoubtedly extremely old, clear that the groundskeeping staff had done an excellent job at keeping it in good condition. Being the staff, there were none to be seen as we entered. Apparently, as a tradition for this event, we would be preparing our own meals and looking after ourselves for the duration. Where's Elise? I want to partner with Elise. I forgot what color she is. Is this at least the last one? <laughs> this one. <laughs> She's blue red. I didn't even read what they said. I was just looking for a lease. Sadie. Sounds like a sadist. I'll partner with you, Sadie. I'd love to, except I haven't got a roommate myself yet, and there are no empty rooms. Okay. I'm feeling sleepy. Go to bed then. Sure, I'd love for you to be my roommate. There's a spare bed over there for you. I put my things away and, feeling quite tired from the end of the long day, I decided to go to bed. Sophia went to bed shortly after I did. I woke up fairly late in the morning, not hungry for breakfast. The house wasn't exactly filled with activity, but it did seem like most people were already up. I decided to pass the time by having a look around the place. Pass time quicker by opening up the enter menu and choosing pass the time. Where's my stuff? <laughs> I'm right close. Chris Reeve knife. Yo, what do we have on the TV? How this door works.
That time it was getting close to lunch, so we all gathered in the dining area for lunch. Natalie and Celia prepared a delicious spread of bread, cheese, and cold cups, and we had a good, if perhaps a little overly filling meal. After lunch, I, I decided to have another look around the manor. We sleep with cuddle. Pepper is locked and far too heavy to be forced. On closer inspection, there is an exceedingly long combination lock embedded into the trapdoor. With no other visible locking mechanism, it would appear that this is the only way to, of obtaining entry. Naturally, it's so suspicious that I automatically want to try to find some way of opening it. <laughs> it's longer than, a, longer than my social security or whatever. Uh, and it takes letters. I seem to have messed something up when I attempted to set the numbers. Oh yeah, because I entered letters. So probably why it got messed up. I don't think I have to remember where these girls were like at each time. Hey Sophia, what are you doing? Nothing? Just trying to pass the time. Trying to pass the time by doing nothing? Yeah. Oh wait, where's Elise? It's this one. No oh, wait, that's Celia. Ah, oh, Elise is in her room. A troll. Alright, wanna explore, Sophia? It's getting late and I found myself rather tired, so I headed back to my room and went to bed. In the morning, I woke to see that everyone had gathered around the manor entrance. Hey everyone, what's going on? We're locked in. 
Locked in? What? What do you mean? The door doesn't work. And there's a knot on the table. A knot of this. Let me see. The door will unlock when winter comes. What the hell is this? When winter comes? Nobody knows. This hasn't got anything to do with the retreat, right? Obviously not. Anyone tried forcing the door? Of course, it won't open. Stay with the windows, whatever we do. It's all very mysterious. <laughs> this is crazy. Can't I travel with Elise? Oh, I think I. Yeah, so I already chose my partner, I guess. Alright, well, let's go. Sophia. We felt like having lunch, but we were prepared something basic in the kitchen. At least there were plenty of supplies so we wouldn't starve. With heavy hearts, we ate our lunch in silence, then dispersed as the afternoon came. Resolved to look around the manor and find out whatever I could find out. This field trip was boring, even before we I knew we were trapped here. Now it's even worse. Relax, winter isn't even that far away. Not saying that I'm not just as disturbed as you are, though. friend by the time the evening came I still had no better idea about what about our situation or how we would be able to extricate ourselves from it maybe possible that we the that we the only thing we can do is wait until winter arrives at least prepared some food and we ate dinner with barely a word. No one was in much of a mood for chit chat, it seemed. Does anyone know the code? Tell me the code now. No one knows the code. I like this night song.
I am in my room, and I am in my bed. <laughs> the morning was like awakening to a nightmare. Amy had been murdered. The fuck? Nobody knew exactly when during the night it happened, but Celia was the one who found her body in the area near the basement. <clears throat> After some discussion, we moved her body to a large empty freezer chest in the storeroom. It was a grisly task, but it had to be done. She had lost a lot of blood, but it looked like whoever did the deed cleaned up afterwards as if there were no signs of it near the body. Everyone was shaken, and the obvious realization went unspoken. If the house was locked and nobody can get in or out, the only person who could have done this was one of us. Elise, is this why you wouldn't be my partner? I was sleeping in my room with the door locked, so I missed the whole thing. She actually was sleeping in her room last night. <laughs> That one lines up. I don't know where anyone else was, though. Super room with the door locked last night, so it was the whole thing. See anything untoward about the knife, but it's hard to tell for certain. A heavy sack of potatoes. <laughs> was this the murder weapon? <laughs> no. What was that? I totally used to stop something here. I nearly tripped over the tiny magnifying glass lying on the floor. That should help me investigate the murder. <laughs> oh, hi, you may have any idea who killed Amy? No clue whatsoever, I'm afraid. There are traces of blood on the rope. Ooh. Silent strangulation. Oh my god, was it Elise? <laughs> I wanted to be your partner. What the fuck? Well, she was asleep, though. There is. I don't remember who was on the sofa. So...
The evening came and nobody was in much of a better mood now, but Natalie prepared us something to eat in the kitchen. We ate our meal in virtual silence. The feeling of doom was thick in the air. We were trapped here. We were doomed to be picked off one by one until nobody's left but the murderer. <laughs> these, both, both these people say they were the Celia. Amelia. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot who that was. That night we all gather gathered to discuss the murder. It wasn't pleasant, but we reason that there was no way to get asleep, but the murder is still active in the house. What we need to discuss is what we are going to do now. There's not a lot we can do. We're trapped here, but our options are very limited. One, we could just sequester ourselves in our rooms, lock ourselves in until someone rescues us. Wouldn't work. There's only one kitchen and there's not enough rooms in order to ensure that everyone is safe. Or we figure out who the murderer is tonight. You may. You've had you've been having a good look around the place and talking to people. Do you have any idea who might have done this? Uh, I had ah, I wish I knew who the other person was. <laughs> I, I can just say I did it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say Amelia did it. I think... No, I know who did it. It was Amelia. What? Amelia? Is this true? Of course it's not true. How could you, Yume? Alright, Yume. Tell us what your reasoning is. Thank you, Celia. I'll start with how the murder was carried out. I think a key object in this was... The rope. The rope. What? The rope? What does the rope have to do with any of this? This magnifying glass, I was able to detect clear traces of blood on the rope. What? Blood? That would indeed make sense if it was used to kill Amy. I think Amelia killed Amy with a rope, and where is what all this took place? Uh... Yeah, I think that was the lounge room. What? She killed- she was killed in the lounge room, but wasn't the body found in the room with the trapdoor? Exactly. Amy's body was moved after she died. Able to detect blood stains on the floor of the lounge room. And the reason I'm sure Amy Amelia killed Amy is uh, it's the part I wish I knew the other person's name. Her alibi didn't la add up. Her alibi didn't add up. Her alibi. What did she say she and why doesn't it add up? Well, there's just something suspicious about what she told me, and that was... Oh, that's one of these.
That's the person she said she was with, I think. Yeah. The person she said she was with. The person? She told me that she was with Celia all night. But I talked to Celia and she said she was with Sarah. And Sarah said she was with Celia. And neither of them said anything about Amelia. What's going on, Amelia? Uh... So there you have it, everyone. Amelia killed Amy. She did it in the lounge room with a rope. There can be no doubt about it. I have to admit, you've got a good point, Amelia. What do you have to say about this? Oh, that is true. I didn't have anything to do with it. And why would I have killed Amy anyway? She was a dear friend of mine. I'm sorry, but it really does look like you were the one who did it. At the very least, you're the most suspicious out of everyone here. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You seriously think I was the one to kill Amy? That's absolutely crazy. Amelia. Is this Amelia saying Amelia? <laughs> Is she talking to herself? <laughs> Amelia, you don't think you di I did it, do you? Believe me, I would never kill Amy. I would never kill anyone. I'm sorry, Amelia. Says Amelia. What are we going to do with her? There's a lockable storage room on the second floor. We can put her in there until we get rescued. Then the police can deal with this and we can work out what happened. That sounds like the safest course of action. Alright, Amelia. We're going for a walk. <laughs> Did I actually get that? We decided to lock Amelia in the storage room for the night. She kept maintaining her innocence until the end. I wondered if I had done the right thing. As the end of day dawned without another murder, it seemed that this was indeed the safest action to take. I couldn't help but have second thoughts, though. I'm still not sure if I picked the right one of these. Whoa, what was that? Oh, gosh, never mind. There was a palpable aura of relief around the room. There seemed to be no doubt in anyone's mind that the killer had been caught and that we were safe, but no closer to escaping the manor. Oh, I, I guess I'm gonna find out if I got it right. Well, you know, I guess people will die if I got it wrong. Wait, where'd everyone go? Did I get it wrong? <laughs> People are disappearing. Evening came up dance and us that things were rather quiet. Where was everyone? Okay, why isn't there anyone around? Where's everyone gone? Is it just us two left? Even Amelia has disappeared. I checked the star and she's not there. I even checked on Amy's body and it's gone too. 
What will become of us? I'm sorry, Sophia. I don't know. sleep in this bed. <laughs> Before I knew it, the night had ended and it was morning again, and the house was deathly quiet. Looking out the window, I could see that the surrounding landscape was covered in snow. The winter had finally come, but where was everyone? Had they left already? Probably got murdered. Oh, this is different. A dwelling possibility, a fairer house than prose, more numerous of windows, superior for doors. Of chambers as the cedars, impregnable of the eye, and for an everlasting roof, the gambrels of the sky. Of visitors the fairest, for occupation this, a spreading wide my narrow hands to gather paradise. After I was now I got locked, I pushed the door open and stepped out into the winter chill. Moments after I passed the threshold, my world was enveloped in a bright light. Hello, welcome to my stream. I don't know if I did the right thing. <laughs> I think everyone got murdered. A world of infinite possibilities awaits you, Yumi. On the bus, talk to Sophia first, then Sadie, followed by Sarah, Karen, Elise, Natalie, Amy, Celia, and Amelia in that order. If you have trouble remember who it is, check the roster by pressing enter. Not really? <clears throat> Hang on, I'm gonna put this in chat. Okay, there's a cursor. <laughs> Then when you get when you first get to the manor, have a good look around before talking to everyone.
So look, oh, okay. Wait, who's my partner? Uh, Elise. <laughs> ah, never mind. Do I have to go with Sophia? Yeah, I guess I do. Sophia was with me as I stepped into the bizarre world. I expected her to at least be surprised, but she just stood there, staring blankly, not saying a word. I got the feeling that she perhaps wasn't entirely there. That in this world, she was missing something necessary in order to operate. Sophia? She turned to look at me, saying nothing. Will you fight by my side here? After a brief pause, she nodded. It looked like she would be a useful companion. Does at least have like the highest intelligence? No, she's got nine. <laughs> Is it the bookworm?
So I was spoiled a little bit because I read the re like song of review, and apparently the farther from the center you go, the farther into the past the portals take you. No, I don't want to attack Sophia. Oh my god, I have to attack Sophia. Oh, I guess she got possessed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got fucking owned. Okay. <laughs> Put in the code again.
Hello, <laughs> Goodsy. Keep your weapon. So, so, like, this red around the edges of the screen is supposed to, like, guide you to something. <laughs> I thought it guided you to the center, but maybe it guides you to other portals, to other times. I guess I'll follow it this time. different. No, <laughs> Harry fucking died. <laughs> I died, oh my god. The matter conceals many mysteries. I'd recommend checking out the bookcase, and when you do, bring along a friend with keen perception. Amy is probably the most suited to the task, but you'll need to improve your relationship with her a bit more first. We're talking to her first on the bus and getting her to be her roommate. has keen perception, huh?
Yay. Hi, you may help you slept well. I always find it a little bit harder getting sleep in a different bed. I know what you mean, I slept fine myself, but there is definitely a difference. Hey, you may take a look at this. This book seems to have been moved recently. Markedly less dirty than the others. Oh, good call, Amy. I wonder if it contains any clues. I grabbed the suspicious book from the shelf. Well, it may, but to me this just looks like a jumble of words made up of random letters. I don't think it's a foreign language. I guess it could be some sort of code instead. Amy, what do you make of this? Huh, no idea. I suppose it's Welsh. I chose to keep the book anyways. I have a book that seems to be in a Welsh. What do you make of those combination? I'm not sure, but take a look at these scratches on the pipe right next to it. I mean, these are obviously deliberate, right? Yeah, you're right. In fact, these numbers are, they look to be... Oh, Jesus. That's way more numbers than the next combination. combination is it i don't think so i don't think it's the right com combination of numbers might be worth a try to see if they can if they can fit in there somehow i guess Hint there. Should you form your answers in the same pattern? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's only one nine and there's only one eight. Nope. I hate more clothes. This is a nice song.
take the knife. Am I actually gonna end up being the murderer? Here's disintegrating. <laughs> what is this description? Here's disintegrating an ally. Here's disintegrating an ally. Here's disintegrating an ally. Oh, so they're actually different statuses. Center. Oh shit, not those things again. No one crouch. <laughs> Let's see how deep I can go into this labyrinth this time. I'm getting greedy. I want that. Oh god. No. Not worth it. Oh, I like got a little human shaped soul.
<laughs> Alright, let's try the speed potion. Or not, actually. I thought it would make you walk faster. Seeking star. Wait, I can shoot? There's something I like about just like this very simple yet also scrambled labyrinth space. A new power is about to emerge from within you, May. <laughs> Someone put a lot of work into this. Also, that's cool how that... The battle screen actually reflects the world, or were you... Where you were in the world, because this chest was in the battle scene. Oh, fuck those things. <laughs> those things killed me last- oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> bad. That's the bad. Have to move on. Mage killer.
I can't tell what's going to destroy me out here, except for those neon glow sticks. Oh shit, no! <laughs> those things destroyed me last time. White elephant. Okay, I'm gonna enter this because the the only two I've seen for forever. It's on this one. I portaled into Natalie's bed. I'm locked in the room. They're sleeping. Hey, Natalie. Um, excuse me? I didn't know I had bombs. Back in. You stay. So this is the day before everyone disappears, I think. It's a built in. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is the day we get locked in. All right. Okay, so that's also probably why I can't shoot, because it's just a Megazooks built in. I'm locked. It's Tuesday afternoon. Up. 
Uh, that raises the user's attack power. Uh, that raises the user's critical hit chance. So, okay, that was Tuesday afternoon. What are these ones? This is Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday afternoon. to get Amy. This is, this is the future. I'm locked in. So I think this is towards the center. So this is the reality where Natalie got locked up, huh? So Sarah got locked up. Oh my god. I fucking died. Did like 300 damage to me. <laughs> You've got two clues, but so far I'm clear how to put them together. I bet now I can figure it out. Although you'll need to improve your relationship with her before she'll want to help your investigation. Try getting her to be your roommate, then once she's willing to follow you around, check out the trap door with her.
Hey, Natalie, let's be roommates. He's sleeping. I don't know. Babe, I gotta go to the basement. I need you. Say, so, Natalie, do you have any insight into the connection between this combination lock and those numbers? The only other clue I've managed to find so far is this book of gibberish words. Right, actually, let me have a closer look at that. You know, a common way of referencing words in a piece of text is to refer to them by page number, line number, and word position. Page, paragraph, and word is also popular. Assuming that the two clues are linked, there may be some clues to be gleaned from saying which words the number triplets refer to. So, assuming 222, 12, and 8 refers to the word 8 on line 12 of page 222, the word it is referred to is Dubiquity. <laughs> Second piece of wild conjecture. The odd markings mean something. Specifically, it looks like the first segment of the combination lock has five digits, which is the same number of those markings. Right, so if we just discard everything other than the marked letters, we can presumably turn those into digits somehow. Right, I know the Greeks used short vertical lines next to their letters as a numbering system in a similar fashion. An A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, etc. system would make sense. Certainly worth a shot. Oh my god, am I gonna make it in? That's six. Eight.
Hey, that did it! Are there gonna be bodies down here? The basement beneath the trapdoor is pitch black. Do you want to go down there? Oh, I don't need a light. There's a candlestick upstairs. Natalie and I climbed down the ladder into the basement. The basement was empty, save for a large metal door. No matter what we tried, we couldn't get it open. There's no keyhole or combination lock to be found either. Finally, accepting that it was futile, we gave up and climbed back up the ladder. Okay, who knows how to use a candle? <laughs> Oh, where is a candle? <laughs> Actually, where's the portal? The portal's gone. Sophia, you know anything about this? She does not. Is anyone here a pyromaniac? <laughs> This is the bookworm.
All oh, right, so someone's gonna be murdered tomorrow. Uh. Amelia is in the potato sack room. Natalie is in this room. <laughs> Amelia, Natalie, Karen. Or maybe not. <laughs> Is it gonna be Amy? Amy's in the potato room. <laughs> Elise is in the main room. It's gonna be one of them, I think. Oh, wait. These two are together, too. Amy was murdered. Yeah, so she was in this room. Oh, I think it was Elise. There were two people in the basement. I don't know what they used, though. Did you really use the sack of potatoes?
Yeah, I think it was all these. Oh yeah, it was at least with a wrench in the library. She was near the basement, so so I talked to Sophie and Sarah. They said they were together near the basement entrance all night. They didn't have anything to say about it, at least. And their stories didn't are actually corroborated. Yeah, that's true. That's where we were. We didn't see you there, at least. Uh, I think I actually got the murderer this time. So there you have it, everyone. Elise killed Amy. She did it in the library with a wrench. There would be no doubt about it. I have to admit, you've got a good point. Elise, what do you have to say about this? None of it is true. I didn't have anything to do with it. And why would I have killed Amy anyway? She was a dear friend of mine. Yes, I actually think I caught them this time, but what does that do? Also, people are still disappearing. I can go in the basement. There's like some gruesome stuff down there.
Natalie and I climbed down the ladder into the basement. The basement was empty save for a large metal door. The space behind the door was pitch black. Oh, for the metal door which was hanging wide open. Why did I come here yesterday? I wonder if I came here too late. Let's go through the entrance. Natalie and I stepped through the passageway and into absolute darkness. Moments later, there was a loud clanging sound and the door slammed shut. I ran back to the door and attempted to force it open, but it was securely locked. All of a sudden, I heard Natalie scream, and then her scream was cut short with a sickening thud. I ran over to help her. I saw something lunge at me from within the darkness. There was a heavy knock to my head, followed by intense pain. Then I knew nothing more. Did I die? <laughs> God damn it. I should have gone in there yesterday. <laughs> uh, the door wasn't the only thing guarding the secrets of the basement. To avoid getting your head cracked open, you should bring along a protector. Someone who can handle herself in a fight. Sadie should be up to the task, and just make sure she doesn't get killed on Wednesday. How do I do that? Nice. <laughs> Getting closer, I want to keep playing now. Yes, <laughs> it was all the knife. Here, take the knife. Talk to everyone. Wait, what does that two gets murdered? I don't get that part yet. Maybe it's just chance. Circumstance. Dear roommate Sadie, I must protect you. Murder, yeah, the murder happens Wednesday. Have to see what's in the basement. <laughs> Is it Monday night? So after the, I have to wait one more time and then I have to see where everyone is. Also, I hope Sadie's not the murderer. That would also be bad. Should 
she's sleeping, so I think we're pretty safe there. As long as she doesn't get murdered. <laughs> Who's alone? Amelia. Sarah. Natalie. You shouldn't hurt yourself. <laughs> but Natalie is dead. That would require me to model a hot tub. <laughs> I don't like this sleep. I think it was Natalie this time. Oh, it was definitely Natalie. She was upstairs. I thought she was in the kitchen. Where'd she use them? How brutal were you this time? Let me use the remote. Okay. I'm telling you, use the potatoes. She used the potatoes. Potatoes upstairs. Got it. We're, sure we're seeing what's in that basement this time. Natalie, potatoes upstairs. And wrong alibi.
I talked to Karen to see she said she was with Celia, and Celia said she was with Karen, and neither of them said anything about Natalie. It's already open. All right, we're going in. Sadie and I stepped through the passageway to the absolute darkness. Moments later, there was a lot of clang and the door slammed shut. I ran back to the door and attempted to force it back open, but it was securely locked. All of a sudden, I heard sounds of a struggle coming from behind me, ending with the sound of something smacking into the wall with a sickening thud. What followed was silence. Sadie? He tried to jump me. I knocked him out, though. What? Who? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know who it was because I can't see anything, but the moment that door slammed shut, he tried to swing something at me. Wow, I'm glad you're alright. Okay, let's try to feel our way around this place. Sadie and I followed along the walls, attempting to determine the layout of the room by touch. We deduced that it was another small basement room, much like the one we were just in with two doors. The one we came through was locked securely and would not budge no matter what we did, but the other one began to gently swing open as we pushed on it. Behind the door was a large, cavernous room filled with a multitude of large glass silos brimming with a strangely colored glowing fluid and containing bodies. Suspended in each silo was the body of a girl, and one that I, one that I knew at that Sadie, Amy, Elise, another Sadie, Sadie, Sarah, another Sadie, Sophia, Celia, another Elise, and I see you've stumbled across my election. A man in a white lab coat stepped out of the shadows. He sported thick rimmed glasses and a sinister smile. Who are you? What's the meaning of all this? What's going on? My name is not important important is what I'm here to do. What is that exactly? Knowing my question, the man wrapped his knuckles on one of the glass canisters. They're perfect, aren't they? Even you can't tell the difference. After all, that's what humans are. Generic meat puppets with the only difference of note being the signal and arrangement of the hundred billion neurons in your brain. They're computers, nothing more. And like with a computer, if you reproduce the state exactly, you will get the same outcome every time. Except you. The man's eyes aligned on me. Me? Even when the state is reproduced exactly, when every other person in the system is behaving exactly, you go and do something different every time. Now why exactly is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Yume, there's an exit at the back. We can get out through here. Let's leave this crazy guy and go. What do you mean when you say I'm different? I don't know why it is. Whether you're an alien from a different dimension, or this entire world and everything we know is just a simulation and you're some higher dimension being playing with all of mankind for your own amusement. But mark my words. I will find out. Come on, let's go! Leaving the man and his glass canisters behind, Sadie and I took the passage at the back of the room and followed it. Eventually, the brightly lit exit came into view. We proceeded through the exit and found ourselves outside, the passage emerging from an inconspicuous hill surrounded with greenery. Sadie? And I looked around, but she was nowhere to be seen. She wasn't in the passage we just emerged from either. It's like she vanished at the instant she crossed the threshold into the outside world. I trekked through the undergrowth until I came across a familiar dirt path. One direction would lead back to the closest village, which would be a good number of hours on foot. And the other direction would lead back to the manor. I looked at the manor, sitting on a hill, looking, at the, sa looking the same as it did when we first arrived.
I want to go back. I want to see what's back there. There were still others waiting in the manor. I couldn't leave them behind. I trekked back up to the manor. From the outside, it still looked the same, and I couldn't see anyone else inside. I pushed the door open and stepped inside. At that instant, the world filled with light, and I found myself feeling faint. I died. <laughs> 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 uh, if you want to rescue your friend, you'll have to unlink them from their ties to this fake world. To discover how to do this, you'll need to nurture the bond of trust and understanding you have with them further. You've built an exceptionally strong bond with Sophia and soon and will soon be ready to face the trials I'll have before you. Talk to your classmates in the following order, both on the bus and at the entrance on Sunday afternoon. Not the same. No, this is different. <laughs> this game just keeps going. <laughs> I like that uh, narrative going on in the basement. That was really cool. Am I the only one with free will in this world? That night, ask Celia to be your roommate and then solve the mystery on Wednesday night. If you do everything correctly, the way should open to you in the morning on Thursday. But make sure you bring Sophia along with you. So I, do I go in the basement? Because I won't have baby. Oh, maybe a portal opens up. So we want Celia to be our roommate. I already a portal open.
Ah, see you later, baby. We're again. Not a portal already. Okay, so it's gonna be someone who's alone. So, Aaron. It's only two people alone. Aaron and Amelia. But one of them is gonna kill the other, I think. Karen is dead. Amelia is sleeping. I think he's using a sack of potatoes. That's a brutal. <laughs> yeah, that was Amelia. Sarah. Who's Sarah? Sarah's asleep. So I did that. I said to bring... I said bring Sophia, but do I just bring her to the portal? Also, I'm like really low level, so... I hope I don't die. Hey, portal. It's not the portal. God, please don't die. <laughs> Sophia, he tried to jump me. I knocked him out though. Awesome. Okay.
But this time I go back and I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, did I die? Uh. Oh, Thursday morning. Okay, I wonder if this plays out the same. Like, is Amelia going to be the murderer again? Everything else is the same. If it keeps going after this next loop, I might save, save this for later. Celia, what are you? I'm right where I am on the menu. Sort of, I'm like, oh, I mean, she's standing where I am on the menu. This is going to be different. So we have Natalie, Natalie, Karen, Amy again. <laughs> or wait, that time it was Amelia. I'm actually remembering the name of these Moe Skullgirl Rectangles. Natalie, Karen, Amy. Amy was murdered. Oh, it was Karen. She was, she was in the lounge, but she's in the library. With the ball.
Yeah, it wasn't. It was Karen. <laughs> Turn all the ball upstairs. Thursday morning, the wine opens up. Where's the wine? No portal. Okay, so I could go in the basement and then take the other route, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's no portal, so I'm gonna go do that, I guess. I guess? I'm doing it. This whole dialogue here is really good. So we're gonna leave this place far behind this time. I escaped from the illusory world. Free from the chains of deception, my memory slowly started to return. I was able to continue to live my former life as though this never happened. Yet my thoughts often returned to my former companions. Are they even, to this day, still imprisoned within the illusion? They are no longer within my power to save. If I didn't have Sophie here, what happens? Oh, it actually has been. <laughs> I can't do anything here. Ah, uh, I guess you have you have to abandon them. Hmm. Yeah, that. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, I am stuck on the screen. Can I change palms?
Mm. I never saved no, so I'd have to go back and do that again. <laughs> I guess I can save here. I'm gonna load that. <laughs> I actually solve the murder every single time, too. <laughs> so I don't know what happens if you don't solve that. Yeah, the basement was actually really... I, I love that part. I can consider coming back to us in like a few days. There were some good quotes in the basement though. Okay, um... Yeah. It's because that... the secondary world... is very... Intriguing. I wonder what effects that has. Cause I was close to solving the game and then it, it threw a bunch of portals at me. I don't know what that meant. Like I could have just skipped to a different timeline. <laughs> Caught the murder every time. <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna stop for now then. Uh, May... Come back to this in some following days. But I did, I did enjoy this. Getting to the basement was... Fun. And that huge labyrinth world, I don't know what else is in there. It seemed really big. Yeah, but I'm gonna go for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.